previous previously I've looked at the Garch model, so if you go into my playlists and come to uh, Garch, there's a set of videos. At the moment there are six, I'm going to add a few more. Uh, but the first three videos relate to how to estimate Garch set up in a spreadsheet. And I, very, I follow very closely the approach set out by John C. Hull on his website, so if you click through you can find the links. But also uh, the video clips show how that can be done. Um, I also estimate a, a Garch model using C++ and that comes from Volupta. So if we look at the Volupta website and go into the C++ uh, portal, there's a number of videos there uh, relating to Garch and then using Garch for estimating option values. So uh, the Garch estimation technique where uh, maximum likelihood is invoked uh, can be obtained from here and I've set that out on these two video clips here and in addition I've re-estimated re -estimated the Garch model in Excel using the approach uh, outlined in Volupta and replicate results in the spreadsheet between C++ and Excel. So what I plan to do is to go one step further using the code um, set out here in uh, at the Volupta website and I'm going to look at Duan uh, 1995 so basically so basically the approach here um, outlined by uh, Duan was estimate a Garch model and then from Garch estimate the value of an option. So a little bit uh, akin to previous implementations of Monte Carlo, we can also, where we use um, Brown, geometric Brownian motion has been the uh, model or uh, the random walk model as the model of stock price uh, movements, stock price evolution. Right here, what is suggested that the returns on stocks can be modeled using a Garch process and in turn that process the uh, value of uh, options can be estimated and Garch has the particular um, advantage of being capable of incorporating skewness and kurtosis. Okay, so it may provide better fit where you have um, skewed implied uh, volatility or volatility smiles or volatility skews. Okay, so we First of all, we have to say new project. Well, download uh, the files. So we come back to the one. It's a zip. It's come down. And we'll try to open up and extract. So we'll try to extract the, the files in question. And if we can see what's there, well, there's a data file with S&P 500 data. There's a functions, which is a header file, where some, the normal cumulative probability, so on, is set out. There is a um, vector mean, how do you get the average of a vector. There is Nelder need uh, files. Uh, there's Garch, the main source file, and Black Scholes. So we have a variety of files, variety of components that we need to put together, and we're going to set those up in uh, Visual Studio to start off with. So let's extract the seven items and unzip from, unzip into our documents and get close to uh, the Visual Studio. So I'll just unzip here. 
Okay, so that and let's verify that they're there. Documents and they're here. So the the the, the one files are all basically here in the documents. Okay, so first file will open up is the source file so we just copy and paste that in and I think it's opening okay it's in opening in Visual Studio Express 2015 okay and we'll copy okay so we copy and then we go into uh, Visual Studio uh, 2015 community so it's an e, it's another uh, compiler uh, Visual Studio uh, compiler so new projects and I start the project from scratch so all we've looked at so far is just the code but we need to set up all the components together and so we go for Windows, Win32, Win32 console application, and we say Garch do one for Lupta. Okay. And that takes a moment. And then we go next. Make sure to hit to click empty project, finish. And then we need to add a source file. So add new item and the source file we must give a name. So to be consistent um, with uh, Volopta, so the one 1995 option pricing model. Okay, so let's go back in the one 1995 option pricing model. Okay, and we'll paste the available code. And we have some issues, and some of those issues arise because not all the components have been included in. So we've got to link up, but also uh, we can neutralize, uh, as is typical with many of the C++ files downloadable from Volopta. Generally, we have to remove uh, these first three files here. So using the namespace system, um this include header file and this dig digitally linked library okay now we still haven't resolved all the issues and in part because we need to incorporate in additional um header files okay so let's uh, open up first of all the vector mean And we just copy that and we incorporate in so this and uh, we go into Visual Studio we want uh, an additional header file it's a he header file so we have to be careful that it is a header file and we must remember what the name of the file is so it's vector mean vector mean okay so vector v e c t o r mean and again just verify vector mean all one word okay and add so that file okay and we must paste
Okay, so we have um, the vector mean has been incorporated in, and now, and we must look at uh, the other header files. So we have normal functions. So let's take that normal functions all over. Let's open it up. Let's copy. And it's a bisection function, so it reads normal cumulative probability, and then the inverse normal cumulative, cumulative probability is obtained using a bisection technique. Okay, so we paste, we create a new header file, add new item, it's a header file, and its name is normal functions. And we add Okay, and then we paste. Okay, and a few small issues arising. Let's see, is the vector mean? Okay, so we could copy vector from here. Copy and put vector mean in here because the vector function has been called up, so paste. And that seems to resolve that. And the vector seems to be recognized. And then, are there issues here? Not sure if they've been resolved. Okay, we'll just continue. Then, we look again. There's another. There's the and Nelder Mead functions, so it's a header file, it's a C++ header file. So we take this and let's copy. And we go back to the Visual Studio Express and we say add new item header file and not forgetting its name, it's nm files. So it's nm files and add and paste. And we have some issues. So what we can do is first of all, I should rename this. It was lowercase f. And secondly, okay, and secondly, um, just incorporate in the include vector. So copy, paste. And hopefully, these issues get resolved in part. and come back to the normal functions and paste in a vector as well. And then go back to one and we can see we're still missing a couple of file header files, so Black Shoals and the L. So let's um, open up uh, L. And we just copy and go back into Visual Studio 2015 and add new item header file garch all capitals underscore ll add and paste. Okay, and also come back again, and we need to get Black Shoals. So we double click, we get our Black Shoals model, copy, and go into Visual Studio. We're almost out of time, and just incorporate that in as well. So I'll do that in the next video clip.